from all over, um, right around us, our neighbors, um, local Tamil guys, and they were asking us if they could plant stuff on our land, and they would tend it and then take the crops home. Like they just wanted our the dirt. You know, they wanted to be able to use our land. Yeah, I had the video camera off. Let me try and point that out. You can see the hard-packed clay. And then all of a sudden it gets dark, and the last few feet on the top is dark, rich soil. So they're anticipating that they're going to have great uh, growth out of vegetation up here. Now this this is the driveway. Okay, it looks like you're trying to remove this great rock. Yep, this one will come out so we can just kind of go straight up. Where are you going to put it? Right As it is, I hit it pretty much every day with the Jeep. <laughs> I scrape it or something. Oh, you know, you can actually see some scrapes right here. Yeah, okay, um, okay. I'm not okay. sure if that's from Mala or from potentially the work on it, but we'll just assume the work on it. There's rock here. This, this rock here carries on under, and so we couldn't drop this down any lower than it is. This, this, this is huge. This is part of a very large rock right here. Okay, so this was the determining level of the driveway. This is too steep, but I can't take it down. At least I can't take this point down. I could take this one a little bit more, maybe. But. There's a forest gatherer or something in the woods there, just to let you know. Because the other day they were stealing our wood. I know. They come in. Well, you have wood stored back in there? No, but yeah, I'm just telling them that they're here. No, it's just the baby, Greg. He does not back. Yeah. It's just You're right. Hercules and Orion. Yeah. Okay, now you can tell down this way, you see the grass. You have a fence on the left and the right hand side. And my understanding, Mala, is that's going to be a grassed um, loop all yeah. the way around this oat field and right. down. Right. Okay. And it'll come back to the barn. So there's a complete circuit. The horses can move on a circuit um, a couple times a day. And the hay will be dropped at intervals on the circuit. So it keeps the horses moving. Um, which is all part of a system, really, that I read up on and researched. If you just have one acre and you have multiple horses, how to how to use your land to the best possible advantage. And then inside the fences, we're putting, um, you can see my failed crop there because of lack of water. So we're putting in a sprinkler system for, for the whole oats field and planting hay and oats in there. And then we'll be able to store it in our barn. So we, we can start... Um, supplying our own feed to the horses because getting a hold of hay in Uti is, is almost impossible. We just have to go out and cut grass for the horses every day or have someone do that for us. So the flattened area will be just a training, riding Yeah, that's a riding area. ring. Okay. Yeah. And then this, the horses won't really be allowed in the center area where you'll grow hay and oats. Right. And they'll have this outer band to where they could run or move or eat grass or be fed hay or whatever. Mm -hmm. Now, where exactly will the barn be? The barn's going to be at that end. Kind of where that little shed is? Yep, Just but up, up a it. little bit. It'll mm -hmm. be on two levels, so you can walk into the top where we'll store the hay under the roof, and then underneath that will be where horses can go in for shelter and all our saddles and bridles, attack room, okay. feed bins, that kind of stuff. So we've actually gotten a grant, because this part we're really using for Freedom Firm and the horse therapy thing, and a lot of girls will come here throughout the week for horse therapy. So we've gotten a grant for the barn and uh, we're just trying to get building permission for the barn now. Excellent. Yeah. So you're kind of figuring out the design and yeah, how you yeah, want it. We're, we're Let me get a shot from here of the house. I mean, it's just a gorgeous view up on a hill. And then your driveway continues straight down here. Is that correct? Right. Okay. Carries, down, carries on about 300 meters, 300, 350 yards down to the main road which runs through that village you can see the village there's a road through there that this driveway connects to which goes back back to Uti. now um your property line how far that direction is your property line well we have one and a half acres the top half acre that the house is on is uh the corner of it is where that little brick it's actually the electric meter box there okay um but the the road carries on down, and essentially the top corner of the bottom acre is where the fence ends okay, and corners okay. on down. And then goes down how much further than where we can kind of see? You can almost, you can kind of see it really. There's a, there's a little ring of earth way down there. Yes, you see yes. That? Well, yeah, that's going to be a pond eventually. And uh, that's, that's the corner of the bottom acre, that corner. And then just beyond the horses is the other corner on that side. 
And so then really right up here along the fence is your Top other corner. edge. Yeah. So really just a little, a few feet into the woods here is your other edge the, the, or the driveway. The edge, here's, the, here's the original marker put in by the surveyor <laughs> of the top half acre. This ah. corner's right here. Okay. And the bottom acre corner is just over there, kind of where that fence ends again. Okay. Excellent. Nice place. Make a Sun is going down. Just disappearing over there. Right there. And it's making it a little bit easier to see. The valley. Actually, now it's hardly hazy at all. And don't the house. Right there. I don't know, Abby, let's see the writing ring down there. What did you do? Oh, wow, it's really time to go. Daddy, why do we have to be here?